Hello everyone, it's Steve here at Barwell UK Airbrush Supplies. We've just had uh, dropped off this airbrush which as uh, it says on the box is a Badger Patriot 105 and the customer has told us he cannot get it to work uh, correctly no matter what he's tried, he's tried everything he's saying and so he's left it with us to have a look through it and try and decide what is wrong with it. Um, this is my first look at the airbrush and my first reaction is that there is a lot of paint on the exterior of the airbrush and down the body also. Um, it has got the 0.7 needle in. This is uh, denoted by the uh, silver needle end and it is one of the older Patriot 105s. Um, I can tell that by there's no markings. Uh, just remove that bit of paint. There's no markings on the word Patriot at the end or at the beginning. Uh, the newer models has either an asterisk or a dot as in a full stop. Um, at the start of the wording of the Patriot and at the end also and if yours has them markings then it shows it is a model that was manufactured after September 2018. Uh, the actual tip looks nice and clean in the paint cup itself quite clean if you look right down into the bottom of the cup you can see quite a bit of black paint um, which I'm assuming could be giving one of the issues if a piece of that paint comes off then it will block the needle up the needle itself has paint down most of it including around the tip I'll just grab this so we can hopefully see uh, but there is paint along the shaft of the needle the needle itself looks in good order The spray regulator looks quite clean. Uh, I will have to have a closer inspection of the holes on the head of the airbrush. There's uh, six holes on the Patriot, which is where the air comes out. Uh, quite small, and you will find if one of these holes is blocked or it's partly blocked, the airbrush will not perform correctly. And from what I can see, there's two holes there that are blocked and as we can see around the edge here around the holes there is quite a bit of paint around there 
so I'm thinking as always yeah even in the tip you can actually see inside the tip there is paint which is obviously dried um, and also inside the airbrush here there's paint dried paint sitting round there well these will all cause an issue and even the paint that is all dried round the hedge here will cause issues as well because if a piece of that comes off and goes into the tip it will block it and that will stop the airbrush working so the only thing I can see at the moment is that the airbrush needs a good clean and so I will strip it completely down clean it all up and then we'll take another look and give it a try to see what will happen I don't think at this time trying the airbrush is an option due to the amount of dry paint that's in the tip actually in the airbrush paint cup and in the uh, airbrush body because of a piece that comes off and we believe some of the holes so trying the airbrush at the moment is not what I would say as an option we'll get it cleaned up and then have a look at it and uh, see what's going wrong with it having now taken the air valve out of the airbrush it did take considerable force to get it to become free and we can now see the reason for this is all the dried paint that is all around it and there's considerable amount of paint that was around the threads and that we can probably see that's all around the air valve there's flakes of paint all around it and paint jamming the valve pin and there's more paint all around everywhere I look so I'm assuming this is one of the issues the customers have in with the airbrush and that uh, at some point the front of the airbrush got blocked and forced the paint and the air back into the airbrush along the back end of the airbrush and down into the air valve area which is what all this is and this is why it took some force to get it out because all the paint had dried around the threads we will clean all this up have a look at it and see what we think With this airbrush I've now had it in soak for a second time because I wasn't happy with how much paint was in the shell of the airbrush or body as it may be called and uh, so this time I'm quite happy that we've got 99% of the paints that was stuck inside everywhere and so I'm now going to fit the airbrush back up and uh, the pin is already in the uh, air valve and I shall now fit it all together and with this airbrush I shall lubricate it as we're going along uh, because I'm quite confident we've identified the problems with the airbrush and as always working in the middle of a table and being careful of the threads 
just nip the air valve with the uh, grips. I do like to uh, lubricate everything up as I'm going along and especially all the threaded areas so if, like within with this airbrush for instance that had so much paint into it um, it will help stop it locking all the threads up the threads Just make sure this is sitting correctly to have too much than too little one it makes the airbrush work a lot lot smoother the action of the airbrush and it stops all the threads getting locked up as I've already said um, with as we go along make sure everything gets lubricated up now one of the things I will point out is when you've lubricated an airbrush like this if it's going to sit for a time then that is fine um, but before you do go to use it do make sure that you put some of your paint cleaner into the airbrush uh, to make sure it blows all the um, lubricant out of the uh, tips and everywhere out of the caps and everything so and we've never found that the lubricant interferes with our paint at all but it always is good practice just to give it a blowout so that uh, and now I'm just going to clean the excess off the outside of the airbrush before we go fit in the hose and I've got the protective cap which also needs a clean and the paint cup cap needs a clean and I've just been cleaning the uh, um, quick disconnect plug and I noticed it hadn't got the cork washer in it which I will fit in and just put into place with the end of the allen key and that just helps the seal on that now we'll now of course we're going to get some of the lubricant coming out of the airbrush Just put some of the uh, Badger spray through airbrush cleaner into the cup to give it a little test. Mm. 
which all seems to be working fine. So with this airbrush now, I will just give it a clean up because there's quite a bit of excess on the outside. The airbrush seems to be working fine. Um, I'll clean the caps up and then uh, just give the needle and everything a quick wipe down. Uh, test it one more time before I send it back to the customer. And that is a airbrush that I've had to clean several times because of the amount of paint and the problems were as we originally thought the tip etc and uh, the missing needle bearing and uh, now it's all clean we can get it back to the customer thank you so much for watching our videos if you do like them please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it really does help the channel to grow and let more people find these videos to hopefully help as many people as we can. Again, thank you for watching.